Welcome to a classic cinematic journey with Alfred Hitchcock's 1948 film, Rope. A gripping exploration of psychological tension and moral dilemmas, the movie challenges conventional filmmaking norms with its unique narrative structure and minimalistic set design. As you delve into this suspenseful tale, consider this. Do you have a cherished memory associated with this film? What enduring qualities do you think make Rope an everlasting symbol of the industry? Now, let's unravel some intriguing facets of the movie. Rope is renowned for its innovative use of long takes, seamlessly blending scenes to create the illusion of a continuous shot. The story unfolds in real time, adding an extra layer of intensity to the narrative. Inspired by the infamous Leopold and Loeb case, the film navigates the minds of its characters as they grapple with guilt, morality, and the consequences of their actions. The stellar performances of James Stewart, John Dahl, and Farley Granger contribute to the film's timeless appeal, drawing viewers into a web of suspense that refuses to loosen its grip. Hitchcock's masterful direction keeps audiences on the edge of their seats, proving why he remains a cinematic legend. Now, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Rope. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Your connection to this cinematic gem adds another layer to its rich legacy. Rope, a 1948 film directed by Alfred Hitchcock, is a cinematic masterpiece known for its groundbreaking approach to storytelling. Loosely inspired by the infamous Leopold and Loeb murder case, the film follows two intellectually arrogant friends, Brandon and Philip, who strangle a former classmate and host a dinner party with his body hidden in their apartment. What sets Rope apart is its unique filming technique, presenting the story in real time with carefully concealed cuts to create the illusion of a single continuous take. James Stewart delivers a compelling performance as Rupert Cadle, their former teacher who begins to suspect something is amiss. The tension escalates throughout the dinner party as Cadle inches closer to the truth. The film's minimalistic set and intimate atmosphere intensify the psychological suspense, making it a quintessential example of Hitchcock's mastery. Despite being a financial and critical success, Rope was initially divisive for its experimental style. Over the years, however, it has gained recognition as a bold and innovative piece of cinema that pushed boundaries and paved the way for future filmmakers. Its impact on popular culture is undeniable, influencing subsequent works and establishing Hitchcock as a trailblazer in the art of suspense. Rope remains a timeless classic that continues to captivate audiences with its gripping narrative and pioneering filmmaking techniques. Rope, a cinematic gem by Alfred Hitchcock, presents a gripping narrative set against the backdrop of an apartment located around 2nd Avenue and 54th Street in New York City. The view out the window, facing west, adds a distinct layer to the film's atmosphere. Notably, this Hitchcock masterpiece was shrouded in mystery for three decades, alongside four other films from the same period, including Rear Window, The Man Who Knew Too Much, The Trouble with Harry, and Vertigo, Rope's rights were repurchased by Hitchcock himself. These five lost classics, held as part of Hitchcock's legacy for his daughter Patricia Hitchcock, saw the light again in 1984 after a 30-year absence. Diverging from Patrick Hamilton's play of the same name, Hitchcock's adaptation, co-crafted with Hume Cronin, introduces new characters and dialogues. The play, set in England, lacks figures like Janet Walker, Mrs. Wilson, Kenneth Lawrence, and Mrs. Atwater. In the film, Rupert Cadle, portrayed brilliantly by James Stewart, undergoes a significant transformation, evolving from a young teacher in the play to a mature publisher in the movie. The nuanced differences between the play and the film contribute to the uniqueness of Hitchcock's vision. This exploration of Rope's setting and its journey from obscurity to cinematic resurgence, along with the intriguing deviations from the original play, offers a comprehensive look into the film's legacy and Hitchcock's directorial prowess. In Hitchcock's 1948 film Rope, the theatrical trailer stands out for its unique approach. Shot separately for promotional purposes, it features David, the eventual victim, engaging in conversation with Janet on a park bench. This prelude, narrated by James Stewart, becomes an intriguing preview, emphasizing the last time Janet and the audience would see David alive before his pivotal meeting with Brandon and Philip. 
This distinctive use of a specially crafted trailer sets the stage for the suspenseful narrative that unfolds within the confines of a New York City apartment. Throughout Rope, the name David holds significant prominence, mentioned a total of 73 times by most characters. However, it's noteworthy that Mrs. Wilson and, surprisingly, Philip never utter his name. This recurrent reference to David adds a layer of emphasis to his character's role in the unfolding drama, shaping the dynamics between the characters and contributing to the overall tension within the story. Interestingly, the film also has a connection to James Mason, who, 11 years after being lauded in rope for his potential as a villain, was eventually cast by Hitchcock as such in North by Northwest. This tidbit not only highlights Hitchcock's foresight in recognizing talent, but also adds an intriguing layer of trivia to Rope's legacy. In exploring these facets from the specially crafted trailer to the recurring mention of David's name, and the foresight regarding James Mason Hitchcock's directorial choices in Rope reveal a meticulous approach that goes beyond the on-screen narrative. His details, often overlooked, contribute to the film's enduring intrigue and showcase Hitchcock's ability to captivate audiences both within and outside the frame. In the 1948 film Rope, Alfred Hitchcock skillfully brings to life a narrative loosely inspired by the infamous Leopold and Loeb murder case. However, an interesting departure from the play by Patrick Hamilton is the character dynamics. Screenwriter Arthur Lawrence suggests an intriguing twist. In the original play, Rupert Cadle, played by James Stewart, allegedly had an affair with one of the two murderers during their school days. This subtle but significant alteration adds a layer of complexity to the characters, contributing to the film's unique narrative. The real-life murder case of Leopold and Loeb serves as a loose foundation for the storyline, echoing the chilling events committed by University of Chicago students. This connection not only adds a gripping layer of realism, but also aligns rope with other films like Compulsion and Swoon that explore the same historical inspiration. Hitchcock's ability to weave fact and fiction seamlessly showcases his masterful storytelling. In a noteworthy move, Hitchcock created an opening romantic scene set in Central Park with Joan Chandler and Dick Hogan. Although this scene was initially part of the promotional trailer, it was later omitted from the final cut of the film. This deliberate decision to exclude the romantic subplot adds an element of mystery, leaving audiences with a different perspective on the characters' relationships. These nuanced details, from the altered character dynamics to the real-life inspiration and the omitted romantic scene, collectively contribute to the richness of rope. Hitchcock's meticulous choices highlight his directorial prowess, making the film a compelling exploration of suspense and psychological intrigue. As we draw the curtains on our journey through the intricate tapestry of the 1948 classic, Rope, I encourage you, dear reader, to let the echoes of this cinematic masterpiece linger in the corridors of your mind. Alfred Hitchcock, the maestro of suspense, has woven a narrative that transcends the confines of mere storytelling and invites us to ponder the darker recesses of the human psyche. As the characters grapple with morality and the thin line that separates right from wrong, perhaps you find a reflection of your own moral compass. Does the unsettling thrill of the perfect crime resonate with your deepest desires, or does the tension of concealed guilt strike a chord within? Hitchcock's rope is a mirror reflecting not only the characters on screen, but also the shadows within ourselves. Now, as you sit in the afterglow of this cinematic experience, I invite you to share your musings. What emotions surged within you as the plot unfolded? Were there moments that left an indelible mark on your cinematic soul? Dive into the comments section or share your thoughts with fellow enthusiasts and let the discourse begin. Your unique perspective adds another layer to the rich tapestry of interpretations that Rope has inspired over the years. In this shared space, let us revel in the diversity of opinions, the beauty of subjective experiences, and the collective appreciation for a film that continues to captivate audiences nearly eight decades later. Thank you for embarking on this cinematic exploration with us. Your time and reflections are the threads that weave the fabric of our shared appreciation for the art of storytelling. Until we unravel another cinematic gem together, happy reflecting.